still with Fjortov, that's good work. Fjortov, he wants it that one himself, and he's got it. My goal all the way, says yes, Fjortov. Started and finished by the... Well, the Champions League uh, went on forever, didn't it? But uh, as usual, there was a lot to be said from UEFA. But it was worth waiting because I think that was a brilliant draw. I love Di Maria, Juventus back to PSG. Lewandowski, Barcelona back to Bayern Munich. And Erling Haaland back to, to Dortmund. And I just want to take a little chat about that. Remember, Erling Haaland went with a clause. He was a quite cheap player seeing the market going to Manchester City. And Dortmund was a bit annoyed not very publicly, but annoyed that they had to sell him for that price. But having said that, they uh, bought him from from Salzburg uh, with a clause as well. So I guess when you triple the price of a player in two, two, three years, uh, you know you will be happy. The the interesting part of the all that Erling Haaland and Manchester City now going back to Dortmund is that one of the big reasons and one of the the, the reasons he put down as leaving Salzburg going to um, Dortmund at that time is that he wanted to play for the fantastic crowd. Remember an average of 81,000 in a Bundesliga game. You have the yellow wall, but uh, the COVID kind of ruined a lot of that experience. So I think that uh, Erling Haaland will love to come back. Uh, you, you you can just see it, seeing his friend going there with his big body, hugging and talking to all the, the people there. Uh, he When he came, there was Favre, then come, came Terzic, then it was Marco Rosa, then Marco Rosa is fired, and now it's Terzic again. So it's going to be a lot of familiar faces there. I think that he will get a good reception. Uh, I think that at the end of the season, he gave it all for them. And as you've seen, Erling um, being the guy he is, you just saw some clip uh, this weekend when he saw the pass from De Bruyne to, De, uh, to uh, Silva when he scored against Newcastle. It was like, wow, and just applauded De Bruyne. He is a guy, kind of guy who loves his teammates, is popular in the dressing room, and they were always talking about his uh, impact in that dressing room. Remember, he was a young kid, but it was, he had a lot of young kids around him as well, like Bellingham and Reina, Mukuku and all these, and um, there was a particular bond, and there probably still is a particular bond between Jude Bellingham and Erling Haaland, and I can guess that they are kind of messaging uh, each other today, as will Lewandowski do with Bayern Munich and uh, Di Maria with with Juventus, and then he's going on play PSG. So I'm looking forward to this. Going to be some great games uh, in the uh, uh, in the Champions League, uh, some massive games, and it's going to be intense. As we know, they have to be finished before the World Cup start. The World Cup start the 20th of November, so you have to offer all six games, all six rounds before that. So it's going to be intense. It's going to be in entertaining and it's going to be great football to be played in the Champions League.